Hello everyone and welcome to 3ds Max Typhoon tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial we want to apply slow motion on Voronoi destruction. So in front of you you can see one simple example what I've created a few moments before. So we want to apply slow motion at some point and hold it for some time and bring it back to normal speed. So here I prepared two objects. So this one will be destroyed and this, this one is collider. So I already animated it. Okay, go here to standard primitives and we can find tie flow. It's applied. And go to modify tab and open editor. Let's make some space. Okay, we want this shape to be inside tie flow. So let's first go and find bird shape. Hold left click and drag it inside. Or you can just simply here inside press tab and find node. Okay, now we need to apply shape. So let's pick this geometry and let's hide. As you can see, we have here one point. That's because this plate selected to small dots. So let's switch to geometry. And if we press F4, we can see mesh. Okay, let's apply Voronoi to it. So find Voronoi and apply. And by default, Voronoi has 10 points and let it relieve by default. As you can see, we have some breaks here. And if you move, nothing happens. To make it live, let's apply uh, physics. So first let's apply physics shape. And as you can see now something happens. So it's breaking apart. But again, our sphere going through and nothing happens. So next one we need the collision. So let's apply physics collision. And let's pick our collision object, collider. So our collider will be this sphere. And we, if we play, now you can see some action. But uh, that's not enough. Our uh, geometry is still moving, so I want to hold it to be in one piece and waiting until collider hits it and then start the action uh, for that uh, we will need let's apply physics bin bind and by default it's on a rigid glue so let it left it by default and uh, scroll down to bind break uh, breaking and apply Force. So leave it by default on 10,000. Now if we play, we can see our geometry is still in one piece until collider hits it. But uh, as you can see, if I move a few frames our geometry is still moving is because physics applied from beginning so let's fix that and let's apply a physics switch so by default it's selected on deactivated so if you move 
collider nothing happens so let's switch to dynamic sleep that means it will wait until the collider until something happens so when collider start breaking then will be applied and that we looking for <clears throat> okay so next is property test Here, um, test type switch to bind, uh, bind broken physics because we're using a physics. And le let's change from less to greater and leave it by default on 100 for now. Now, let's make subfracture on fracture. So, let's apply Voronoi. And let's so left click move and select this node <clears throat> okay let's make some uh, visual visualizers so on uh, display you have this uh, white uh, circle so if you click here you can change the color so let's this one make it red and let this one make it purple And here on Vornoi, uh, let's apply more points. So for test 35. And if we play, we can't, it's, can't see. So that's because here on property test, value, uh, value is 100. So let's switch it to 1. And let's try. And yes, you can see it because our display it's selected the small dots. So let's switch it to geometry. And now you can see second for noi here. Okay, now uh, let's apply some force. Find the force, apply, <clears throat> and let's apply uh, wind. So we will use from 3ds Max, switch to space warps, and here is wind. Make so I think by default is a uh, it's planner so change it to spherical and give it some not chaotic number so let's use number two for now and I will just move it a bit here to can apply so when you select the force pick and pick wind wind <laughs> okay now here on the force open timing and from continuous uh, switch to frame and let's apply let's find where our collision begins So let it use from 6 to about 12. And I think it's too much, but of 
for this tutorial it will be okay You can apply some noise here, so for but don't use big numbers. Oh, let's let it use 0 0.05. So frequency frequency you can use a bit bit big, uh, bigger. So scale let's it use 1.4 for example. So uh, our Voronoi destruction now it's done. Uh, next step is to create slow motion at some point, for example, from uh, frame 10 to hold it for some time and bring it back to normal speed. To do that, we don't need this one. So select type flow and first and foremost let's switch time, uh, time step from frame to two time steps per frame so it will be smoother and open your retimer enable simulation or retimer by now uh, you can see it's selected by frame you can select by speed but if you if you see here by speed is speed by 100 percent so let's switch that speed to for example 40 percent and back it to by frame and let's use auto key to select and simulate the time so when you hit this one, you will see this uh, red covers. So now let's switch to and create some action. So at point eight, as we see before, let's apply, actually let's apply it on 10. Nothing happens, but if you change the number and when you press enter, you will see action and let's move again for about five to six frames and change it to from one to one uh, frame so from 10 to 11 and let's move about 20 40 frames and let's create let's change it from 11 to about 16 and for now let's ease it out so from 16 to 25 and from 25 to 60 and I think that's it that is enough So as you can see, just by with uh, moving the slider, we can see slow motion. When collider hits, so going normally, few frames with a normal speed, and then we applied slow motion. So we want to ease in, ease out. And let's create preview to see what we make here. So uh, here is a preview. So let's see what we create. And as you can see, here is the slow motion.
but to be honest I really like it So that's it guys for this tutorial, if you like it hit the like button, if you want to see more of this uh, feel free to comment below and if you have any question feel free to leave it in the comment. So that's it, thanks for watching.